Hey, welcome back to ADV with Roscoe. If you're new here, my name's Charles. Today's video is coming to you live from my garage. But it's about, it's about gear and how long you should keep your gear, how, how often should you replace it, um, how well you should take care of it. Um, is Patagonia gear better than Walmart gear? Um, it certainly costs more. And I'm not an expert. And actually, I'm, act I'm looking for answers. I want to know from you guys in the comments what you think. Because I tend to keep my gear for a very long time. I, I like to think I take care of it. And I, I agonize over the price. My ski jacket that you've seen in that in my ski video um, that I bought in like 2000 or 2001. I mean, this was $250. I agonized over that. 20 years later, I'm still wearing it. But should I be? It's not water repellent. Um, my life doesn't depend on that jacket. When I was mountaineering, maybe it did. Probably would have just made for an uncomfortable uh, end of a trip if it were to fail. Uh, but maybe my life would depend on it, depend on the situation, I suppose. But you take your climbing rope, uh, your life certainly depends on this. You have to keep track of a climbing rope, how many falls you've taken, uh, if it got exposed to any chemicals, um, sunlight, and basically just age. I mean, it's only good for X amount of years. Um, same with a motorcycle helmet. If you read a motorcycle helmet, I think it's only good for three years after manufacturer's date. I might, I just made that up, but it, I read something like that. So. Somewhere in there, there is, a, there is a date on your motorcycle helmets. So how long do you keep those? And the, the foam inside breaks down, which is part of the cushion. Um, but like I said, I keep my stuff a long time. Eureka Timberland 2 tent. It's been on many motorcycle trips, many backpacking trips. Um, that's a, oh look, who's making a guest appearance. This is Ruben the cat. He came to the house when I bought it. Hello Ruben. Your guest appearance here on ADV with Roscoe. All right. So where was I before I was interrupted by Ruby? My Eureka Timberland 210. Bought it in 91. It's been everywhere with me. I feel like the material is starting to break down, so I don't take it anymore. So I think I'm proactive on that. Plus I have a really sweet mountain hardware tent that I just like. I wanted one for a long time. I finally have one and that'll probably be the last tent that I ever have. Probably not, I'll probably buy a super lightweight motorcycle tent, but. Um, sleeping bag, 1991, down, Marmot, uh, 35 degree bag, love this bag. Compresses small, uh, I use it a lot in the summertime, backpacking and on the motorcycle. My skis from hmm, early 2000, that's my first AT setup. Um, I don't really ski those much anymore. The skis break down and you can feel that happening, so those get replaced. Motorcycles, maintenance on your motorcycles, and how long do you run them until they leave you stranded out in the middle of nowhere? The second time they leave you stranded, you you replace it. Um, I do know that this boot that failed me on that last trip, um, after only a, I think four or five years, this boot is not that old. Uh, the sole came off halfway through day one. I don't even know if it was halfway through day one. I glued it back on, duct taped it on. Uh, next day, the other sole came off. Luckily, we were able to get shoe goo and duct tape. Otherwise, it would have been a miserable couple days riding without a sole. So there's my question. Do you replace your gear every so many years just because? because you want to try new stuff or you don't want that to happen, which I think that happened prematurely. Um, gear that your life depends on, you put that at the priority list, then soles of your boots go down the priority list. Put in the comments, let me know what I'm supposed to do. Let me know what you think. 
I do know that I try to take care of my stuff. I dry it out when I get home. I put it away. Uh, so I, I, I think it lasts longer. But all right, everybody, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Thanks.